Did he really, really just say that? The information I'm about to share with you, you got to buckle up. I'm going to share with you a couple videos and then I'm going to give you the facts, figures, numbers, logic to back it up. Now, the first half of the video is going to be deep education and understanding the de-dollarization away from the American dollar. You cannot deny that there's a transition from the global superpower of the U.S. dollar to a global currency. Then on the second half of this video, I'm going to share with you what two very wealthy people have said about Bitcoin and who may have created it. Then I'm going to back it up with my facts, figures, numbers, logic, and a narrative. And that's why I don't pick left and right, up, down. I'm not tribal. I focus on God as my president and CEO, and I follow the life of Jesus as close as possible. We're all being played. So if you knew you were being played, you would play the game different. So pay attention. So the first clip I'm going to show you is a short clip on Daniel Combone's channel, Stansberry Research. Highly recommend you follow her. A gentleman talking about the U.S. dollar's dominance. Main reason, what is the, the change now? that would see the death of the dollar, the main change? Well, I tell you, I mean, uh, first of all, if you have a global currency like the US dollar was, uh, a reserve currency, a lot of it depends on confidence and on prestige. If you travel internationally, uh, the U.S. may be better liked than the Chinese and the Russians, but the prestige of the U.S. has diminished a lot. Now that's a fact. I've had over 7,000 people in my academy, people all over the world. The U.S. dollar is losing its prestige. And remember, it's a fake currency. It's fiat. It has zero value other than our belief in it. And the world is starting to lose belief. So if you follow Ray Dalio, I highly recommend you do. We are now in this part of it, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, which this I'm going to be reporting on my YouTube channel tomorrow. And this is almost an exact science of what's happening right now. Now, this is right off our government website, our Congress website. I want you to pause and read this. This is a part I want to read to you right here. It says some observers have speculated whether changes in the global economy goes back to the Ray Dalio chart. A global geopolitical shift, which we're in right now, could cause a shift from the dollar to other currencies focused in particular and centered on China's economic rise, which they are rising economically. They're taking over America and U.S. sanctions and digital currencies. The U.S. dollar by 2021 had been all the way, had fell to 59% to its lowest level of the U.S. dollar share of global reserves in the exchange reserves drops to a 25-year low. Okay, I want you to pause and read this. The BRICS countries were created in 2009. Brazil, India, Russia, China, and South Africa, and Saudi Arabia is working to join it. This is a key factor in the next part of the conversation. So now he's going to talk about cryptocurrencies and who he thinks created Bitcoin. Last point, when you were speaking about your fears, like, of course, was taking central bank digital currencies in my mind. Is that one point you were alluding to? Well, I think... Uh, the the cryptocurrencies is an interesting phenomenon that arose because of excessive money printing by the Fed. And don't ever think that it was created by a poor fool in Australia called Satoshi. This is organized. I am sure the founders of Bitcoins are the same <laughs> that founded the Federal Reserve in 1913. It's a new gimmick. But uh, at the, the big Bitcoin is now an established type of a currency. And I would not uh, encourage people not to hold it. And I don't encourage them to hold it. I prefer precious metals. But if I talk to someone who is uh, 25 years old, he thinks I'm a relic, that I'm a dinosaur, which, may, which is true. But uh, young people are more interested in speculating in cryptos than in precious metals. Okay, let's break this down from a logical circuit. Okay, let's go back to 2008 going into 2009. This is so key, right? Get a pen and paper out. The BRICS countries were created in 2009. Brazil, India, Russia, China, and South Africa, and now Saudi Arabia is going to be joining 19 other countries. They have been working to de-dollarize. So if you're in America, okay, 
and you know that the U.S. dollar is losing its dominance, specifically after the U.S. financial collapse in 2008, and you tapped BlackRock, the largest asset manager in the world, to balance out our markets. The Federal Reserve tapped BlackRock, okay? Pay attention, write that down, okay? Then you know these countries are coming together to work to de-dollarize, and then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, Bitcoin's inception was created in 2009 at the exact same time the BRICS countries are created, but we don't know who Satoshi Nakamoto is. We don't know who Satoshi is, okay? All this technology, the CIA, all these these ability to track people, they don't know who Satoshi Nakamoto is, but they can track you down. They can figure out anything you do. Think about that for just a moment. This is tinfoil hat stuff, okay? Then we come into 2012. The FOMC co committee was created to regulate non-bank financial institutions, which we're experiencing right now, okay? Rosie Rios was told to reduce coin and cash usage in 2012. She couldn't because of GDP growth. The Obama plan, rescue plan, turned the printing machine on full blast. So it's like they knew that they were going at the last ditch ever to put a bunch of cash into the system so they can invest it and move into these innovative technologies. They also created the bank bailing committees. So then we fast forward to 2017, Jamie Dimon, one of the largest bankers in the world, and Larry Fink, the largest asset manager in the world, are telling you Bitcoin's a fraud, Bitcoin's a fraud, Bitcoin's a fraud, Bitcoin's a fraud. And then all of a sudden, boom, in 2022, transition to 2023 as interest rates skyrocket, slowing down the circulation of money. And in 2023, as FedNow Services comes in, they start telling you that Bitcoin is here to stay and blockchain technology is here to stay. And Vanguard and BlackRock increase their position in micro strategies heavily in Q1 2023, and they are the largest Bitcoin holder in the world. First, they resist it, then they sue it, and they regulate it, then they join it. There's a problem that's created, it creates a reaction in the people, and the people that created the problem come up with the solution. So now here we are. We've all been arguing back and forth, tribalism, Bitcoin, XRP, XLM, this is the currency. None of us know, we're all speculating. But the beautiful thing about speculation and not becoming tribal and focusing on the fact that this is a massive economic shift and this is nothing new under the sun. When we were drunk off the wine in the Colosseum, they brought the Trojan horse in, the Trojan horse is coming in. And if you invest correctly in this, you're gonna be invested in the new monetary system and you could radically transform your family's life. You're not gonna stop a central bank digital currency from coming in. These presidents that are, these presidential candidates that are, their, their whole campaign is uh, decentralization. They don't make the decision, I'm sorry, the bankers make the decisions. So if you take it from an unbiased look and say, man, the decisions I make today are extremely important. And there'll never be a time like this in history where you can get involved in a massive transformation of wealth. But the fact is, rich parents have rich kids, poor parents have poor kids. If you don't rewire the foundation, you're going to end up in the exact same situation. The thing that they don't want is financial education. So I love you guys. I appreciate you. As we always say, warriors, rise, get your shit together. Let's go. And do I think Bitcoin's going to stay here? Absolutely. Do I think the top 100 cryptos are going to be here? Absolutely. Do I think some are going to disappear? Absolutely. Now, remember, I will never proactively DM you. Those are all scammers. We do not invest people's money. I have an education academy. I've helped over 7,000 people. That's linked in my bio here on TikTok. We also have a life insurance team. I have an insurance team that helps you understand the infinity banking concept and also many other factors on how to retire tax-free, secure, and compound your retirement. So if you're a little worried about retirement, trying to figure it out, our team will do a free consultation with you. So that's all in the description. Love you guys. We'll see you soon.